Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another week of our Gospel Reflections. With the celebration of Pentecost on the weekend, our Easter season has come to an end, and we return now to ordinary time, and it's the eighth week of our ordinary time season. Ordinary time is interrupted by Lent and Easter, and so we celebrated some weeks of ordinary time earlier in the year, and now we return uh, for the bulk of ordinary time, taking us right through to Advent at the end of the year. This week, uh, we start with the Feast of Mary, Help of Christians, being the 24th of May. And so I'll say a bit more about Mary, uh, Help of Christians, in a moment. But let's have our Gospel. So let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Gospel today is from Luke, chapter 1, verses 39 to 56. Mary set out and went as quickly as she could to a town in the hill country of Judah. She went into Zechariah's house and greeted Elizabeth. Now, as soon as Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. She gave a loud cry and said, Of all women, you are the most blessed, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Why should I be honoured with a visit from the mother of my Lord? For the moment your greeting reached my ears, the child in my womb leapt for joy. Yes, blessed is she who believed that the promise made her by the, whole, by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit exalts in God my Saviour, because he has looked upon his lowly handmaid. Yes, from this day forward, all generations will call me blessed, for the Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name, and his mercy reaches from age to age for those who fear him. He has shown the power of his arm. He has routed the proud of heart. He has pulled down princes from their thrones and exalted the lowly. The hungry he has filled with good things, the rich sent empty away. He has come to the help of Israel, his servant, mindful of his mercy, according to the promises he made to our ancestors, of his mercy to Abraham and to his descendants forever. Mary stayed with Elizabeth about three months and then went back home. The Gospel of the Lord. As I've mentioned on this Monday, the 24th of May, we celebrate the Feast of Our Lady Help of Christians. And under this title, Mary Help of Christians, Mary was chosen as the patroness of Australasia by the first provincial synod of the church, which was held in Sydney in 1844. As the colony was being established, Mary's help was needed at that time, and it's still needed to this very day. We are helped by Mary's intercession and by the example of her life. And so today we celebrate the Feast of Mary, Help of Christians, patron saint of Australasia. And as we do in the tradition of the church, Mary, Help of Christians, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thanks for joining me today for our Gospel Reflection. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Until then, take care and God bless.
Thanks, everyone.